Hello everybody, welcome to Elite Wine TV. I'm Hello everybody, welcome to Elite Wine TV. Hello everybody, welcome to Leeds Wine TV. I'm your host Mark Fusco here for another episode of the show. And uh, the next wine in our little bit of series of uh, supermarket French wines, or French supermarket wines, uh, I've got a, um, a wine from saint Emilion. This is the Chateau Moulin Belgrave, Belgrave. Uh, not to be confused with Chateau Belgrave in, uh, near, in actually near this area in the, uh, I just looked it up where it was, but it's like near saint Julian. Uh, Poyac, it's like just west of, yes, just west of here. Um, anyway, uh, 2009 uh, vintage. Uh, I found on the French version of eBay um, something about Grand Cru and this name. I'm like, no, maybe it, it, that particular vintage was a Grand Cru. Uh, one thing about Saint Emilion is um, its classification system changes every few years. Um, whereas in Bordeaux, it doesn't change. The only change they've ever made since 1855 is in 1973. They elevated a uh, second. Um, they they elevated a uh, second growth to a first growth. So that was the only change that's happened since 1855. Whereas Saint Emilion, they actually change it every few years. It's supposed to be, I think, every five, but sometimes they wait a few years. There's a lot of politics involved. So. Um, there are some other classifications uh, than the 1855, which most of those wines are from the Medoc, which is where you have uh, Margot, you have Poyac, Saint Estephe, um, Saint Julien, all those places. Okay, so I uh, just get a little history of that. Anyway, um, again, this is another simple, simple, simple supermarket wine, a 375 milliliter or a 37.5 centiliter, uh, as they like to uh, do it here. Uh, this one cost a whopping three dollar. I'm sorry, three eighty one euros. Three euros eighty one whatever cents or whatever they call it. Um, so it was the most expensive of the wines. So it was the best. The hotel clerk also actually she was she was like, oh, this is good. So let's hope this one was a better find than the other one. Um, again, not that it was a bad wine. It's just for cheap. By the way, uh, if you see this, this is my MiFi from XCOM Global. Um, this thing has been a godsend, so I don't have to spend uh, outrageous amounts of money on AT&T's Wi-Fi. I probably could have spent the same amount of money as this, as the data plan for the iPhone for the Wi-Fi, and been fine. The problem is that I'm concerned about all the data usage I do use on the phone with all the apps. Um, I looked at the data usage I did last month. It doesn't even come close to, I mean, it, it's not as much as what a week's worth of data or what um, the, the highest data plan for AT&T as, as far as data usage. But I was also afraid that I may have some issues with Wi-Fi out um, at the hotels. So I might have to use this as Wi-Fi if, if I'm uploading videos. Bam, my, my, my bandwidth is done because you only had 800 megabytes and you know, these videos take a lot more than that. So uh, anyway, you can get one of these, get it. Um, the only problem I've had is that the other battery, I, I bought a backup battery and it won't it won't hold the charge. I mean, it will be in here, but you don't see any lights on. So um, they actually have already told me that once I send the unit back, they're gonna adjust the billing. So I won't get charged for the extra battery. Excellent customer service. Thank you very much, XCOM Global. All right, um, so there's your plug. Um, so let's check out the wine. Uh, another one I couldn't find anything else about other than just it exists um, in, in places where you can buy it. Okay, um, nose is kind of tight. I mean, it has been open for a little bit, but as always, remember it's just a very small opening up there. Mm, 
maybe a hint of, I don't know, plum. Again, it's a it's, um, little bit of manufactured type of smell, somewhat chemical. But definitely a fruit forward wine. Red fruits, uh, maybe a little bit of plum, so maybe some dark red fruits, maybe some dark cherry. Raisiny type of stuff, so things, not things that make you go, hmm, but you know, just that type of, that type of a profile on, on the nose. Let's check it out. Uh, okay, um, you know it's it's again a serviceable wine. It's something that you don't have a lot of money to spend. You want to get a wine, you get a half bottle, and um, it's something you can you can enjoy on the patio. Which I've got a patio back here. You can enjoy on the patio on on a lazy afternoon, eating some cheese, eating a sandwich. I mean, both wines are, are kind of like that type of wine. You know, a light dinner, a light lunch, nothing, you're not going to put a big, fat, juicy steak with this. I mean, you could, but it's not the type of wine you're going to do that with. But, it's a bit tart. A bit tart. On, on, on the on the palate so it's like a somewhat of a sour plum or a sour cherry type of thing again not the best wine but not the worst wines I've had wines that are a lot worse I'd probably give it another 80 like the other wine um, there's probably more out there that's better especially now that we're starting getting into you know a full bottle of this is you know almost eight euros um, and that's now we're getting to the ten dollar range. You know, I expect a little bit more out of it, but um, it's not a horrible one by any means. And like I said, if you're if you on a budget and you're in France, you go to Carrefour and you want something that's you know quick and easy to to, to you know drink and all that, go ahead. There's some other flavors here that I'm not really, I guess it's, it's really a lot of that plum, maybe a bit of cherry, um, but again, it's a little, it's got a little bit of sourness. The tannins are very light, not much acid. It's not, it's not like the wines I had at Bechevel today. Freaking amazing wines, um, which, uh, you know, as I always tell you, I don't ever score those wines if I'm, if I'm drinking with the winemaker or the owner, but Good Lord, if you can find these wines, buy them. Um, I, I, I do plan on buying a bottle of, of at least the, uh, the Bechevel, the first label, um, and bring it back home to enjoy. But it's one of those things where, you know, I don't really sell our wines. I don't have anywhere to store the wines. Um, so I, I, I hesitate buying a wine like that to, to bring home or, or, to, or buy at home because I'm not going to necessarily sell it, but uh, I, I probably am going to be at the point where I'm going to be doing some stuff like that. Anyway, if you can find it, it's okay. There's probably a lot more out there that's better that's on the on the grocery store shelves. But um, if you got nothing else th to get, sure, why not? All right, that's going to wrap it up. This was a little bit shorter than the other one. Um, as always, uh, thank you for stopping by. Friend me up. Um, check out you know all the links up above for uh, all the all the social networking things you know Facebook Twitter uh, I, I, I gotta get back on the ball with YouTube and iFood TV and a whole bunch of other stuff and getting the content over there um, as a, a reminder blip.tv is my uh, my uh, video hosting thing but I got back to figure out how to use tube mogul and be within my range so that I can distribute with them too uh, donations always accepted especially now Anyway, I'm trying not to beg too much on the money, but because um, it's not like I, I need it, but it'd be nice to, you know, hey, throw 10 bones to pay for, you know, a bottle of wine. Um, that's going to do it. 
and uh, I'll have some more reviews I'll, and tomorrow and the next day I'll review or maybe tomorrow I'll review both of them I don't know but I've got some more wines to do and some more interviews I'm going to Saint Emilion Pomerol uh, tomorrow and then after that I'm going no tomorrow you know tomorrow is that then Wednesday is Sauterne and Barsac and then uh, Thursday I head back to Paris but uh, on the way there I'm going to a special um, special chateau, at least special as far as the show is concerned. Uh, and for some reason I kept saying it was in the Pesac Leonion. Uh, it's actually an Entre du Mer. Um, I don't know how I messed that up, but it's an Entre du Mer. So um, uh, somewhere along the line I must have looked it up and it, I thought it was in the uh, the Pesac Leonion, which is right around the Porto. Alright, that's going to do it and thank you for stopping by. We'll see everybody again next time.